Let us rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day. This is your turn to be participatory here. <laughs> that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Let us worship. We are so glad that you're here with us this morning. Welcome, welcome to Klein United Methodist Church. As you can see, things are a little different than usual today. We have our annual musical arts camp performance. This year they're doing Go, Go, Jonah. I have a couple of quick announcements for you before we get to enjoy the kiddos. The first of these is that tomorrow night is church council. Everyone is welcome and invited know that this uh, month we will be meeting in the chapel. So usually we meet in the new building. If you want to come to church council, please do, and know that it's in the chapel. So you'll want to come in the door over on the west side of the building. Second, on July 7th, the Seekers and Friendship classes have graciously offered and are planning a hot dog picnic in celebration of 4th of July. But because they are smart people and know that it is July in Texas, it is an indoor hot dog picnic in the CLC. We, we hope that you will join us for that. The official start time is 1130. However, they did note that if you come to first service and then Sunday school and are looking for that hot dog at 11 or 11.15, they're going to try to accommodate that as well. We hope you'll join us. And now, friends, I invite you to enjoy the hard work of this musical. Good morning, all. What a wonderful day to be in worship together. We are so blessed to have our first through sixth grade, first through eighth graders helping us as our music ministers, helping us worship together in song, in word, in dance, in, um, in music in general. Uh, for our gathering song, 
our first and second graders are going to be playing and singing Amazing Grace. We will have them sing Amazing Grace, the first verse, and then I will turn and I will motion you all to go ahead and stand for, to sing and participate in verses two and four. I invite you now to be seated and join me in prayer. I invite you to take a moment before we pray together to lift up to God all of those joys and celebrations you've experienced this week. And also take a moment to lift up all of those things that are heavy in your life right now, the worries and concerns. Take just a moment. O God of grace and mercy, we are grateful to be yours. We are grateful to be gathered, and we are grateful to be gathered to watch these children who have worked so hard this week. God, we ask that you would put hands of love and blessing and encouragement on each and every one of them as they perform for us today, but also as they go out into the world, having learned about Jonah, having learned about who God is. God, I ask, I ask that you let each volunteer know how grateful we are for the way that they have given their time and sowed into the lives of these children. And God, we are grateful to the parents who have trusted, who have trusted their children to us this week. God, encourage each of us to listen for, to hear your word, to heed your word, and to go out in partnership with you to spread the good news of who you are to each and every person we encounter. God, we pray all this as we pray the prayer your Son, our Savior, taught us, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Good morning and 
and welcome to Klein United Methodist Church. Please take a moment to sign in with the QR code on the back of the pew. Or if you're watching online, please use the link on the page to let us know that you're worshiping with us this morning. If you're new around here, we encourage you to fill out the visitor card in the pew and stop by our Welcome Center in the main lobby to find out more about our mission and ministries here at Klein. We also have a virtual Welcome Center located on our website with all the same materials and information that you can get right here in the building. Thank you for another great musical arts camp. They couldn't do it without your love and support. The kids had a blast and are so excited to show off their hard work today. Help us support Nam by donating cold cereal or peanut butter to help feed children this summer. There are labeled bins in the main lobby for you to drop off your donations. Next Sunday, we will begin our Fill the Bus project to help our food pantry families prepare for back to school. Look for opportunities to help next week in the lobby. This week, the student ministries will be participating in their summer mission camp, Dauntless, where they will sleep at the church and participate in service work around our community each and every day. Please keep them in your prayers this week as they go out and serve others. Church Council will meet tomorrow night at 7 p.m. in the chapel. Come see what's going on in the life of our church. All are welcome. Have a great week. As I invite the ushers to come, I invite you to prepare your hearts to give. <clears throat> you know, worship isn't worship without the opportunity to give. And I don't have to tell you how much it means to the ministry of this church to have you continue to financially support all the things that we do. I don't need to remind you that when a church is getting it right, like we are, then summer is our busiest season. While other folk are slowing down, we're picking up. Thank you for the way you support us. Pray with me. God, I thank you now for the gifts and the givers. Do what you only you can. Take these offerings and bless them and then use them to bless your people. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. The ushers will serve you.
really quickly. I just want to say thank you to everybody who sent their children and their grandchildren up to camp this week. We had such a wonderful time with them. We hope that they had a great time, and I can't wait for you to see all of the messages in the story of Jonah. Can we give a big round of applause for our volunteers who spent all week here with these wonderful children? Thank you so much. All right, so I'm going to get our scripture readers up to start sharing our Bible verses for the week. First Samuel fifteen twenty two, does the Lord delight in offerings as much as in obeying the voices of the Lord? To obey is better than sacrifice. First John, First John four four, little children, you are from God and have overcome them, for He who is in you is greater than He who is in the world. Where can I go from your spirit? Where can I flee from your presence? First Corinthians 13, 2. If I have faith that can move mountains, but have not love, I am nothing. Matthew 28, 19. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. Welcome to the Museum of the Bible. Tickets for guided tours may be purchased from the attendant in the lobby. We hope your visit helps you to learn more about the Holy Bible.
just look how big this place is. Yeah, Jess, they say this museum really makes the Bible come to life. Too good, because you know, I'm going to be a missionary. Yes, we know. Oh, brother. What's the matter, Chris? Here comes Buddy. Ugh, like I can't stand him. Who can? Hey, Chrissy, why don't you, why don't you sit with me on the bus? Afraid I'd hit you like this. Stop it, buddy, or I'll tell the teacher. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. 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 Hi, four in this group? No, just three. Sorry, but each group has got to have four kids. Follow me. Ooh, Chrissy, looks like it's going to be you and me after all. Welcome to the Museum of the Bible. My name's JJ, and I'll be your guide. Today, we start a tour in the Hall of Prophets. Shoo, what's that smell? Oh, that's our exhibit on Jonah. We're simulating the smell inside the belly of the whale. That's a relief. I thought it was Jess's breath. Buddy, you are so lame. JJ, could you tell us about Jonah? Yeah, start with his story. Well, this exhibit's not quite finished yet, but let's use our imaginations. The year is 650 BC, and the word of the Lord came to Jonah. Go to Nineveh! Jonah didn't go. Eh, he was probably wimp like Chrissy here. No, buddy. The Ninevites were probably cruel and stupid like you. Ooh, you flatter me. As a matter of fact, Jess, the Ninevites were bitter enemies of Israel, along with the Hittites, the Ammonites, the Amalekites, the Moabites. Don't forget the Mosquito Bites. Probably them. <laughs> probably them too, Annie. But the Ninevites were the worst. They were barbarians who'd skin people alive, then torture and burn them. Ooh, sounds like my kind of place. So why does God allow people like that, JJ? Yeah, why didn't God just get rid of Nineveh like he did Sodom and Gomorrah? Well, God is sovereign. That means he can do anything he wants. But what God really wanted was to get rid of Nineveh's sin. You see, the power of sin is strong, but always remember, God, God is stronger.
lion, he'll tear you apart. But when it comes to him, God will get him in the air. Jonah's got a problem. If he goes to Nineveh, he might get barbecued. JJ, I just think I'd just send him some Bible or some podcast or something. Well, that would have been the safest thing to do. But the Lord told Jonah, go to Nineveh. But Jonah didn't go. And when you disobey God, you're always going in the wrong direction. Joppa, and there voted a boat for Tarshish. That's all the way to Spain. Oh man, I wanted to get to Nineveh. Well, Jonah just wanted to get lost, because he immediately hid below deck. Didn't the sailors miss him? Oh, they were so busy, they didn't even notice Jonah.
yeoman, I could be a yeoman. No, buddy. The yeomen were brave, not bullies. Well, they weren't so brave when the Lord caused the storm. The storm? A terrible storm. Asherah! Bill! Dagon! Their sailors, I mean, did their gods stop the storm, JJ? How could they? Theirs are make believe gods. Only Jonah worshiped the true God. But was he telling them about Jehovah? No way. Jonah was asleep. Asleep? In the middle of all that God was doing? Sure. Haven't you ever seen someone sleep through church? Yeah, my dad, every Sunday. I guess we all find ways to run from God. But remember, no matter where we go, he's always there. Too bad Joan didn't know that promise. Oh, he knew it, buddy. Sometimes it's just more comfortable to forget God's word. Anyway, above deck, the sailors were throwing cargo overboard when the captain remembered Jonah. You buckethead, what are you doing at a time like this? Get up and go pray to your God, man, and ask him to have mercy on us. But even though Jonah knew God was trying to get his attention, he made the sailors draw straws to see who'd caused the storm. Which one's John? Oh. Guess Jonah got the short end of the stick, huh? Yeah, Chris. 
And when he did, he told the sailors the sea would come and they threw him overboard. Ooh, yes, I knew I should have been the yeoman. Good, uh, why don't you go enlist right now? Ah, but those sailors weren't as brave as you, buddy. You see, they had heard of God's awesome power. Oh, great Jehovah, don't kill us because of this man's sin. And don't blame us if we kill him. So they threw Jonah into the sea. Jonah drowned? Did the storm stop? Did the sailors die? Yeah. What happened? Well, when, when Jonah hit the water, the storm miraculously stopped, and the sailors fell down and worshipped God. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty. Don't you just love it when God shows off? So, what happened to Jonah? Well, let's just say, Although Jonah paid for his boat ride, this transportation was free. And it was a way of a ride, huh? Gold? <laughs> Wait just one minute. This is the biggest kettle of fish story I've ever heard. Like I'm gonna believe that someone who's swallowed by whales is gonna live to tell about it. Buddy, miracles are just one of the ways God reveals himself. But even today, there are accounts of people swallowed by whales, later vomited up with only minor injuries. Okay, so like, Pearl a girl? Yeah! And that's what happened to Jonah? Well, let's just say, after three days for a whale, he was resurrected. Three days and then he the web. Three days in a ball rip. God will seek and God will save, as he can raise you up.
to have seen that whale throw up old Jonah. You are so gross, buddy. It's more like gross Jonah. You can imagine what that old prophet looks like with all that seaweed, salt water, and gases from inside the fish. Hey, we don't have to imagine. We can just look at Chrissy over here. Good to break, buddy. Yeah, do you have any idea how much everybody hates you? Yeah, just one millionth as much as I hate them. Okay, okay, guys. Eh, I think we should get back to the story. Anyways, once more, the word of the Lord came to Jonah. Go, Go to Nineveh! So did he? He did. But Jonah was not a happy camper. Jonah for dinner? Get it? Have Jonah for dinner? Nobody. Not even for an appetizer. The power of God's word changed the king's heart. In fact, the king put on a sackcloth and announced, We've been bad, real bad, but from now on, see no evil, hear no evil, or speak no evil. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty, Jehovah. So God had mercy on Nineveh and did not destroy the city. Wait a minute, I thought God was gonna destroy the Ninevites. Wait, so does this mean the bad guys won? Nobody, the bad guys turned to good guys. And God won. But I thought God was gonna destroy the Ninevites. Yeah, they didn't deserve to be saved. No, neither do we. But that's just how God shows his love for us. Man, this is so lame. I'm gonna go get a soda. And we're gonna miss you so much. Yeah, yeah. Okay, you guys, so JJ, what happened to Jonah? 
Well, now Jonah was trapped inside another kind of fish. You might call it a selfish. A shellfish? No, a selfish. You see, Jonah wanted God to pull Nineveh off the map. Then he could have gone home a hero. Instead, Jonah climbed a hill, looked down at the city, mad at God, and full of hate for people who are now his fellow believers. the Ninevites. No, I'd say God worked in spite of Jonah. But like the Ninevites, Jonah got a second chance. How's that? Because it's Jonah who tells us the story. Yeah, so we could learn from his mistakes. Well, I think I've learned something. If I'm going to be a missionary, I need to love everyone, even Buddy. Yeah, do you think God will give us a second chance with Buddy? Yeah, but in Buddy's case, it might have to be a third or a fourth chance. <laughs> You're right, Jess, but I'm willing to try. Me too. Look, here he comes. Man, the stupid soda machine wouldn't make change. Here, buddy. I'll buy you a soda. Huh? 
Yeah, let's all go get a snack before we get back on the bus. But... You'll sit with me, won't you, buddy? Um, sure, Chrissy. I mean, sure, Chris. JJ, I might make it out to missionary after all. Thanks for all your help. And by the way, what does JJ stand for? Would you believe my real name is Joan? 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 Yeah, listen guys, I'll see you. I gotta go. Hey, go, go, Joan. Go, Joan, go, Get go. Go, go, Joan. Go, Joan, go, go. I'm so glad that you were here today to witness this. This was amazing. You were all amazing. Thank you so much for blessing us with this today. I want you to remember the spirit of these children today and the lesson that they taught us and performed for us. Go out and do what God asks you to do with love and grace, knowing that that love and that grace has been showered on you as well. So go now in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.